Hello, welcome back. Good morning, afternoon or good day wherever you are. Uh, I'm having my first cup of coffee, so it's early in the morning here. So maybe if you have been following my latest video and you have been trying out the techniques, you get problems like this one. Um, you make a particle effect or a additive texture and you can clearly see the edges of the texture. So I will show you how to fix this real quick um, using Photoshop or Krita. It's um, not a big problem in both of those programs, so use whatever you like. I started Krita. Basically the problem is that rendering textures or rendering in general oftentimes doesn't generate pure black values. Especially if you use glow or emissive things in your render. Um, so to fix this we just need to make it a little bit more black. So to do this in Krita we have two ways. The first way is to press Ctrl L and do the effect or the work right here. That's very easy. Just bring the right handle you find over here, bring it to the left side and you can see what's the problem already. So to fix this take the left handle, bring it a bit to the right side, right where you see the white line starting. This is basically where uh, white starts. And I take the right handle again, bring it closer and I can see again that I have a problem. So take the left handle again, bring it a bit to the right side and now we're having pure black and that will fix the problem. So in the end you just have to bring the right handle all the way back to the right side and then the problem is fixed. You can save the file and everything will be fine. The second way to do this, and that's also the way that I usually do it in Photoshop, is to click on this button here, um, bring up a filter layer, choose levels, press F3 or right click properties, and then you basically have the same window that we had before with the normal filter. Um, the only difference is that this operation is not destructive, so if we change something on the texture or if we want to use the same effect later, we can just save the file and this filter will be like a layer. I can turn it on and off. And yeah, like I said, it's a non-destructive operation. So I fired up Photoshop, I loaded the texture and you can see on the first look, especially in the video on YouTube because of the compression, it looks black to the eye, it looks very good. But if we zoom in, um, maybe you can start seeing a little noise here. To fix this, it's very easy. You can even do it directly with the levels filter or you can add a filter down here. That's the way I like to do it. Add the levels filter and here you get the settings. It depends on the setup of your user interface, but you'll find those settings somewhere, the properties of the filter. So if we grab this handle and turn it to the left, you can see that the brightness of the image increases and then you can clearly see the noise that was coming from the render. So to fix this I grab the left handle and drag it to the right side and you can see that the effect gets better and better or that the noise vanishes and I do this until it's really black. And to double check it I come back with the right handle and really get it close until I have the maximum contrast. And like this I can easily see if there are bright areas in the image that touch the edges of, um, of the sheet or of the image. So this looks fine now, so I pull the right handle all the way to the right side. And when I'm done uh, and I'm happy with the effect, I can just apply this, merge it down, save the file. I use the same technique for all kind of light textures, glow textures. You can see this is a texture I rendered in Blender. It's a very simple gradient and it looks good on the first sight. But again we can apply the levels filter. And if you do this you can also save some texture space by just cropping it to the very edge of the gradient. And like this you can make sure that nothing of the gradient gets cut off. Because if you use it as an additive texture, those effects will be visible very fast. So now back to Godot, we can already see the action we did in Photoshop or Krita fixed the problem. Now set up the particle effect, it will look like we expected it to look. Maybe 
add some variation and here you go. So here's the final effect I was going for. Um, such effects are really easy if you pre-render the sprite sheet from Blender. Um, then it's a very simple particle system. Doing such a particle effect purely in Godot um, is not that easy. You can do it um, using the settings on the particle system. Like this it's much easier. So I really hope the tutorial was helpful, even if it was short. But uh, maybe you already encountered the problem or you will encounter it after using the knowledge from the first tutorial about particle effects and visual effects. If you liked the video, subscribe, like, share and have a wonderful day. See you soon.